Happy Saturday. So to all you new guys, let me give you a piece of advice. Especially if you just got your life insurance license and you're just getting out there. You need as many leads possible. So there's no such thing as you having enough leads, especially if you're selling final expense. So you need to think of ways in order to get as many leads of people looking for your product, your services. In this case, somebody that's looking for a quote, more information on final expense insurance coverage. That is the name of the game. If you're looking at this business, as something that you definitely want to do full time. If you're doing this part time, the question is still there. Who are you going to talk to in order to help with some of these policies? And a lot of you guys that get into this business, you guys fail in this department. And what do I mean by that? Well, one, not many people around you know exactly what it is that you offer. So if you're selling final expense, how many of your friends, your family know that that's what you do? Now, I'm not telling you to go and sell them. I'm just asking you how many of them know exactly what it is that you do? Because selling life insurance really fills a need that a lot of people don't know about or haven't really thought about. Especially with final expense, if you passed away today, how would your family pay for your funeral one day? Because eventually it's gonna happen. So the more people know what it is that you do, what are you gonna do? Create more opportunities, you're gonna generate more leads of people that are looking for your goods and services. Buying leads is the fastest way to get in front of people that wanna to talk to you about the goods and services that you'd offer. Now, yes, buying leads comes with the cost. Whether you're paying a company to do the marketing for you or you are doing the marketing yourself, there's a cost associated with it. But if you got your sales down, you got your closing abilities on point, then you should be able to make enough sales to keep investing in your leads. That's the number one thing that helped me 20 years ago, getting to this business as well as stay into this business. I always had more people than I could handle to help them with final expense. So if you're new and you're looking at doing this full time, how many people are you talking to every single day? And if the real answer is that you're not talking to many people during the week, then it's gonna be very, very difficult for you to make a sustainable living long term, bottom line. So right off the top, your job is to get as many leads as possible. Nowadays, there's just so many ways to generate leads for yourself. The other video that I dropped a couple days ago, I talked about how social media marketing has helped me because it costs you nothing but your efforts and the commitment to getting on social media and sharing what you do. Digital cards these days, you can text somebody so much information on a digital card, but are you doing it? One of the things that I teach agents when they get started is that leads are very important, especially at first. But as you start building your client list and your customers are satisfied and happy with the service that you've provided, 
Well, then you can bring in relationship marketing where you can ask your customers that are satisfied with your services, not to mention the ones that have processed claims have been paid. Believe me, at that point in time when they've received their policy, they've received the claim or they've been a client for months or years, trust me, they're gonna be more motivated to give you referrals compared to when you first sold them the policy. Isn't it true that when you first sell a policy and you ask for referrals, very few people get results? On the flip side, when you've already given a service, you've delivered what you said you were, it becomes easier for you to ask for that favor from your client. And the favor is, do you know anybody in your family, your network, that can use my goods and services, this type of life insurance policy in their life? You'd be amazed how many people are gonna say yes because they feel inclined to help you because you've helped them. And what do you do? You generate more leads that didn't cost you money per se, except for the effort of you asking, of you following up with your clients. But I will caution you on this. If you're you know, not working on your skill set, you're not working on your training, you're not learning your closing skills, because let's face it, when you start off selling something new, it's new. You gotta be patient with yourself and give you that time to learn how to make those sales, how to close, because it doesn't happen in that first set of leads that you buy. Very rarely do I see an agent that just right out the gates kills it in fact, most struggle because they're learning. They're changing certain things that they were doing that wasn't helping them and they're adapting to things that are helping them and it takes time. So if you're buying leads, if you're thinking is, well, I'll just buy a bunch of leads and I'm just gonna go right through all of these and that's how I'm gonna make sales. That works because eventually a good 10% of those leads they're ready to buy. They, 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 you know, been watching that ad. They've been talking to some people about it, but now they're ready, a good 10% of them. But sometimes, depending on what it costs you to obtain those leads, that 10% might not be enough to cover the cost of your leads. So you can find yourself in a situation where Yes, you have available a bunch of leads, thousands of leads, you got the money to do it, but you pulverize through these leads and the results are not enough to pay for that balance. All because one, you didn't have the practice, but mainly you didn't have the right training at the beginning to save you that grief and pain that comes with learning something new. But either way, the goal is to have as many people as possible to talk to on a daily basis, not sporadically, every single day. The goal is to be talking to somebody every hour on the hour, Monday through Friday, if you're gonna do this long-term as a living. And if you do it in a combination of, of, of sorts, buying leads, working your client list for referrals, networking, creating content on social media so you can reach people that you don't know, people that are not in your sphere of influence. That is the name of the game. And in today's society, the way the market is, you can take advantage of all these platforms like the one I'm using here to get the message out. You don't have to have no fancy production, no fancy camera, the phone works perfect. The key is to do it consistently in order to generate those type of leads that you're looking for. So with that said, I hope this tip helps and see you guys at the top. Peace.